go, you mix it up a little bit and you make contact by accident. Didn't see him on the flasher. Didn't see him on the camera. But when I lifted up off this, he was there. Now these, uh, it's a little blue fox bait. And what happens with these is you just keep your line taut like this and the nose kind of makes contact with the bottom and the tail flares. It's a, it's a, like a chicken feather tail. And it flares. And what happens is sometimes they'll just swim right by and grab it and keep going like that fish did. But it's also a good whitefish bait because whitefish like to peck at the tail. And uh, I didn't feel that hit. I just lifted and he was there. After getting set up, we spent a couple hours jigging in deep water and had a little bit of action on the Markham. And we managed to hook one small trout. But the real excitement was yet to come. I strapped on the snowshoes, loaded a sled with gear and slung a portable hut on my back and headed into the woods to try my luck on some smaller lakes for specks and rainbows. Not a word of a lie. We just drilled this hole. I just put the raffle hugger down, drilled this hole, stuck. <laughs> I didn't even scoop the hole. Brook trout, look at that. I left my pliers in the shack. 